What's up guys, Ryan with the MXG channel again. And I just put together a new track box, which is just my portable toolbox. I take the track with me. And I just want to give you guys uh, an idea. I've had questions about this in the past. What, what kind of tools do you take the track? What do you keep with you? What are your must have tools? I'm just going to show you guys what I keep in the track box. Let's take a look. All right guys, so before this box, I had a Matrix Concepts box that I'd had for years and uh, that I bought when um, they were on sale and it looked sweet, it had graphics on it, it was green and white, but the problem is the box itself was pretty much junk. It was super thin um, and that thing was, uh, to make it worse, it was just too big. I got one that was too big. It was probably, you know, another six inches and deeper and I, it took two people to lug that thing um, up in the back of a truck. So I wanted to downsize a little bit and I found this uh, gear wrench box on Amazon. They had like an orange one and a black one. I went with the black one because you know, I ride all brands. Uh, but I'll put a link to this down below if you're interested in it. So let's start with the top here. Just kind of showing you guys what I keep in here. So on the top, I've got some of my, like my most used stuff. I've got my WP fork pump. I got T-handles up here, as far as T-handles, um, 8, 10, 12, and 13. I have an 8, 10, and a 12 in here. I do not have my 13, but I do have a uh, 3 8 drive uh, T-handle with a 13 on it. Um, also, love these things, these Allen wrenches, but they're in the T-handle form. And the tops right here slide. I don't know, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, so these tops slide so you can get them into some really tight areas or you can just completely pull it out. So love these little things. Live and die by these. I think these are available in three, four, five, six, eight, and ten. And uh, I love having them around. So also. Got my magnet. I've actually needed this at the track before. Safety glasses. Sharpie. Of course you put your um, tire pressure gauge in the top. Flashlight. Uh, measuring tape. Zip ties. I've got a, a spoke wrench. And I went ahead and put my Motion Pro chain tool in the top, which I wouldn't normally run that in the top but uh, it's just, it just was the best place for it to fit in this particular box. So I uh, also have this light right here, which is a micro USB charge light, and it's magnetic. So it sits right here, and at night, you know, I can see everything that's in my box, which is pretty cool. So this first drawer, I keep my Torx and my screwdrivers. So I got Torx in here from T7 to T40. Uh, these bleed the WP forks too, and do a lot of stuff on, you know, I'm riding KTMs most of the time nowadays, so very handy. Timing plug wrench remover by Motion Pro, guys. A lot of people don't, don't use these, and these make life so much easier. You need to remove those engine plugs. Uh, doesn't strip them out. These things are a lifesaver. Uh, then I keep a couple picks, a couple flatheads, a couple Phillips in there. Moving down to this drawer, I've got wrenches, sockets, extensions, and ratchets. So. I like to keep this crescent wrench in here. Um, it's big enough to take off axles off any bike. And a second smaller crescent wrench. Um, this works great for you know linkages or anything that you end up not having the, enough wrenches for. You know you can get by with this at the track. And obviously these are not the tools I would prefer for the job. Um, nothing. This is not the stuff I would use in my shop but at the track, stuff you're lugging around, stuff that's getting dusty and dirty, um, this stuff is perfect. So I have a bunch of wrenches, you know, 10, 12, 13, 8, 14, 17, 19 um, pliers in here as well. Keep a couple needle nose, a couple uh, regular pliers, and I use these snips uh, more than anything. Keep these in there. I've got a razor knife in there. Now, as far as ratchets, I keep, I don't go crazy with the ratchets and the sockets because it just gets so messy. But I keep a 3 8 and a quarter inch drive and my most, uh, my most common sockets for each, like 8, 10, 12, 13. Um, and a couple, uh, 
couple extensions for each. Um, I also keep this smaller crescent wrench. Um, in my experience, small crescent wrenches come in handy more than you would realize. In the bottom drawer, this is mostly tire changing and suspension sag stuff. So I keep two tire irons, Motion Pro tire irons. These are my tire irons of choice. I've got a, a bead breaker. Put this on the bead, hammer it. I've got a bead buddy too by Motion Pro. Um, and then I've got my valve core remover and my new tech glide plate for installing tires. Just makes it a little bit easier. Then for setting sag, I've got my Motion Pro sag scale. I've got my Motion Pro, it seems like an ad for Motion Pro at this point, doesn't it? I've got my Motion Pro uh, shock punch. And I will normally, I uh, have lost it apparently, but I will normally keep a very small hammer in here to hit this shock punch with. So um, yeah, gotta get that back in here. Also have two more Allen key sets and a spring puller and this is what this is my favorite spring puller puller it's all metal so you don't have to worry about the plastic um, body coming off of it which has happened to me in the past it's all metal spring puller and then in this baggie in the bottom i keep some uh, a few little odds and ends bolts and um, thread lock and rubber gloves and a seal mate and a couple more zip ties. Um, but this is my toolbox, but it's separate from another tub I have. I, I will take this box and I will take a big Rubbermaid tub with a lid on it. And that Rubbermaid tub has a full bolt kit. It has, um, you know, air filter, air filter oil, tubes. Um, I'm going to go over that tub as well. And it's also got all my chemicals in it I might need chain lube, oil, all that stuff. So. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm pumped about this box. It's nice to downgrade. Um, I can lift this up on my own easily, which is really nice. Uh, there will be times my other box was so big, I wouldn't even take it. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, if I have a problem, I'm just coming home. Because <laughs> that's how lazy I was about loading that other toolbox. It was just so heavy um, and just not logical at all. But this gear wrench seems like it's going to be about perfect. So far, the drawers and everything have worked well, but uh, yeah, I'll put a link down this. To, uh, I'll put a link below to this, and uh, you can check it out on Amazon. Uh, most of the tools in here you can find at aomc.mx. So, yeah, guys, that's what's in my track box. Uh, thanks for watching. See you at the track.